Our products are antennas. The antennas are based on a unique technology that uh, was developed by uh, Professor Per Simon at Chalmers Technical University. Our radar antennas are being used in cars. For instance, you have lane assist systems in a car or distance control systems. It's a legal requirement in the EU that all cars sold here now need automatic emergency brake systems. In a few years time there will also be a need for imaging radars. It provides a lot of information, much more detailed than current radar sensors. They can provide almost camera-like information. Currently in cars you have a range of different sensors. You also have a number of cameras, but obviously cameras can be impacted or affected by weather conditions. For instance, you have dirt on the camera or heavy rain or snow. A radar sensor doesn't get affected by weather or visibility. Imaging radars is a segment which is of special interest to gap waves because imaging radars require very powerful antennas. Our technology can really deliver for imaging radars. They provide better performance or better signal strength, but can also be made very compact and cost effective. The unique feature of the GAP waveguide technology is that it doesn't require any electrical connection between different layers. Performance-wise, you still have the performance of a hollow waveguide, meaning that you have lowest possible loss in your system. But when it comes to the process of the assembly, you have removed the expensive processes of gluing or soldering or any other solution. We just put them over each other and we just rivet these points. And the riveting is not even for the electromagnetic purposes. It's just for mechanically to just keep them together. In terms of cost, you have removed the expensive processes from uh, your building practice. That means that you will have a cheap solution. We're in a very good spot right now because there's not only a commercial driving force but also regulatory and legal put in place by the authorities. Our play right now is to focus on the automotive market but at the same time we also keep a very close eye to future segments like automated transport or robot taxis or other types of working equipment like mining trucks or transportation lifts in harbor environments for instance. There's a number of new segments coming into play in a few years time and technology for those areas but also services for those areas are being developed now. Inside of the antenna as you see we have some layers and these lines that you see here are realizing those tubes or waveguides. The issue is always that how can we realize a pure tube because that is what is needed for the performance of the electromagnetic wave. Gap waveguide technology through putting these pins or periodic structures that we call metamaterial helps us to put these two layers of each other so underneath we still have the tube, the signal is going but nothing is leaking. GapWaves today is a company that has moved out of the technology and pure innovation and research phase and we're now in a commercialization and growth phase. Which means that we have moved from being just a technology developer and technology provider to a product producer and a product supplier. And some of the larger contracts that we have announced have also put GapWaves in a supplier role and not just technology developer or designer role. The Bosch agreement announced in July this year uh, stipulates that uh, Gapways will be the producer and the supplier of the uh, antennas. Looking at other competitors, it seems that the waveguide is the solution. The problem is that how and when a company is realizing it. We believe that at GapWaves we are quite a frontier at this because we have enabled this technology and we have shown that it is possible to produce a waveguide-based solution for the automotive radars, something that wasn't possible a few years ago. By enabling this potential, we see that everyday customers are coming to us with some ideas that they thought it's not possible before, but now they think that it is possible through the GapWaveguide technology. So we continue to develop 
New ideas are coming every day. New possibilities for the manufacturing are coming every day. We are making our antennas thinner, lighter, cheaper, with a better efficiency in the performance. So I can imagine that in the coming years, all the automotive radars will be implemented in the waveguide technology, and especially gap waveguide technology. For some antennas that are more complex and more advanced, it's likely that we'll produce them in-house in our own facility with our own equipment. And for other antenna types, we will probably utilize uh, third-party producers, but still be in charge of that production and be the supplier of antenna, although it's being produced in factories, uh, not within GapWave's facilities. GapWave is looking at uh, a very strong growth in the market. The uh, number of antennas provide only to the uh, traditional automotive segments will be in the range of two to three hundred million already in a few years. Adding to that is also the new segments like robotaxis or mining equipment, uh, trucks, smart cities, traffic surveillance and also down the road we see the telecom segment coming into play because of the need of utilizing higher frequencies than the telecom industry is, is using today. So things like 5G or 6G. So we're looking at a very interesting number of years for gap waves.